Hi, this is Federico with Cuddle, and in this video we are going to be exploring some simple techniques for making multi-layer designs. That is, designs that are made out of several pieces of material, sometimes of different colors, that when you cut it and stack it together creates an interesting look. Because it's the winter season when I'm recording this video, then I've chosen to make a snowflake that could be an interesting ornament or a decoration for a holiday card. So let's get started. I want to start with a really simple design that uses just a couple of lines. So to draw these lines, I'm going to use the pen tool. I'm going to draw a center line. So I click where I want the line to start, then I click where I want the line to end, and then I can press escape to draw another line. Um, and now I'm going to draw a second one that is going to be slanted and getting into the central branch. So I'm going to click again where I want it to start and click where I want it to end. And then when I'm done, I'm going to press escape a couple of times. So I only want to mirror the one that is slanted. So I'm going to select it and then apply the mirror repeat modifier. Now that I have my basic shape, I want to rotate it to create that snowflake. So I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to apply the rotational repeat modifier. And that's my basic shape. Now to give these lines some thickness, I'm going to select them, which selects the whole group. And then I'm going to give them a stroke. As a default, the stroke is a hairline, but if I uncheck that box, then it acquires a little thickness. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit thicker, like 0.2 inches. And then this is my basic snowflake. I like the ends of the branches to be rounded, so I'm going to change the cap end to the stroke to be round. I think that creates a nice effect. And I'm going to be making this out of some blue paper tones, so I'm going to change the color of that first stroke to a sort of uh, dark blue. So that's going to be my first layer. So to make the second layer, I'm going to go over here to the inspector on the right. I'm going to close that, and then I'm going to duplicate it. So right click, then duplicate. So now I'm going to select the group at the bottom. And now I'm going to change first the color. So I'm going to select a, a lighter blue to start seeing the difference. And then I'm going to change the width of the stroke. So the first one was 0 0.2. Now I'm going to go double that. And you can already see the bottom layer coming up. And for the next layer, I'm going to do the same operation. I'm going to select the bottom group. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to change the stroke color to something even lighter, so it's still recognizable. And then I'm going to change the thickness of the stroke. So I'm going to double that. And this is my basic design. Now I want to prepare my design for cutting. If I were to export it as this, I would just get the center lines as the cut paths, but what I actually want is the outline of the different color strokes that I see. And there is a quick way to do that in Cuddle. So I'm going to select it all, and then I'm going to apply the layer stack modifier. So what it does is that it gives me the outlines of the strokes. I can show you by checking this box. And additionally, it separated it into different uh, color layers, which I can show you by checking this distribute box. So that also separates the snowflake into the three different layers that I want to make. At this point, we can go to file and then export SVG to get our file ready for cutting. If you're going to export for something like Cricut Design Space, it's okay to leave it like this without the distribute check mark because there is going to be separated by color. But if you're going to export for laser cutting, it's much better to export with the distribute checkbox uh, checked. So all these shapes are uh, separated. So you can cut the multiple layers. There is a link to this project in the description. You can go there to download the Snowflake, uh, modify it or make your own. And now I'm going to show you the one I made. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. For the first version, I used some cardstock and roughly the same color scheme that I had on the screen. Here I'm gluing it with some PVA glue. 
and I'm just lining it up by eye. So this one goes from dark to light, but I want to try the opposite, so going from light to dark in the background. And I wanted to try some glitter cardstock on the background here, and then glitter on the front. I think this one's my favorite. I also wanted to try some laser cut MDF, and it's fun to see that stark contrast between the steps. <laughs> 